This brother says, prove to me that Jesus was sent to you as a prophet and why you should believe in him. Okay, boss, I will do it using both the Quran and the Bible because I know if I only use the Quran, you may not believe. Maybe if I use the Bible, it may trigger something. And I will use one verse of the Quran and three of the Bible because according to you people, three equals one. Maybe in that sense, it may make sense. So the Quran is clear about that when it said, Qala inni Abdullah. Jesus speaking, he said, Indeed, I am a servant of Allah. Atani al Kitab. He has given me the scripture, the gospel, the good news, the injir. And he has made me a prophet. Now I believe in that because the Quran says so. Then hear what the Bible also says. In John chapter 4, we see the Samaria woman with Jesus, where the woman said unto Jesus, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Now, did Jesus deny that? Look out through the whole verse. He didn't deny that, but he told the woman, they will worship the Father, God in spirit. Also in Luke 24, verse 19, Jesus and Cleophas, where Jesus asked him about what things, and they said unto him, concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet, mighty indeed, and word before God and all the people, like everyone, the thing went viral that Jesus was a prophet. And finally, in Luke 4.43, we see why Jesus was sent. He himself said, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns also, because that's why I was sent. Rhyming exactly with Daniel uh, Kitab, he has given me the scripture, which is the gospel, the Injil, to preach to other people. Salaamu Alaikum, hence proved.